Today's Daily Dose of Math is about drawing a net drawing of a cylinder. Now the net drawing is a drawing you do of a three-dimensional figure, but you do the drawing in two dimensions. You imagine that you're unfolding the three-dimensional figure so that it can lie flat, and that's what you're drawing. With a cylinder, because part of the surface is curved, that involves an unrolling. And the curved part of the cylinder, when you draw it flat, is a rectangle. The confusion for the student is usually to do with the fact that these questions can be asked in many different ways. Not with the procedure. The students will get used to the procedure quite quickly and find it quite easy. Let's do one of our examples and see how it plays out. In this question on the chalkboard, we are given a cylinder and we're told the radius and the height are 3 centimeters and 10 centimeters. And we also have a drawing and this drawing is done with those dimensions, meaning the radius on this drawing is actually 3 centimeters, the height actually is 10 centimeters. But this drawing isn't the answer, this is a three dimensional drawing. We need the net drawing, we need to flatten that out. So. To do that, we actually need three dimensions. I'll do a quick little drawing of a cylinder flattened out without trying to do it the right size so that you can see what it means. When you unroll the cylinder, the curved part of the cylinder, it unrolls into a rectangle. And then the circle is on the top and the bottom will be two circles the same side, size, which are attached to that rectangle in such a way so that we can imagine rolling this rectangle back up and it forming the cylinder and then folding those two circles so that we have formed the entire cylinder. To do this, we need the height of the cylinder, which is shown here and here. And we need the radius of these circles, which has been given, but we also need to know how long do we draw this line, this unrolling of the cylinder? And we haven't been given that dimension. That's the circumference of the circle. So this long side of the rectangle is actually the circumference of the circle. Therefore, we need to calculate the circumference. We're using the circumference formula, which is 2 pi r. In this case, it's going to be 2 times pi times 3. And that rounds to 18.8 centimeters in this case. So now we have all the dimensions we need. We need to draw a rectangle that is 18.8 centimeters long and 10 centimeters wide. So I'm going to do that next. We have the rectangle part of our drawing. What we need now are the circles. Now, we can put the circles up near the top or down near the bottom, that doesn't matter. But they have to be touching the side that represents the circumference, which means they have to be touching the 18.8 centimeter side. So I'm going to draw my circles here and here. And what I have to do is I have to measure a three centimeter distance from that side of the rectangle and put a dot, that's the center of my circle. Normally, a student will be using a compass to do this, and if it, I was in my classroom at school, I'd be using a large compass to do it, but I don't have one. So what I did was I measured three centimeters from that center of the circle to several spots, and now I'm going to estimate my circle by going through those. Using a compass is better. I do the same thing over here. My center of the circle is here and I end up with another identical circle. Now I have finished, I have drawn my net drawing of this cylinder, 
And this is what this 3D shape looks like when it is unrolled to be two-dimensional. Now we're going to move to this other example. And this one's a little different because no dimensions are given. They haven't told us what the radius or the height or the circumference are, but we have a drawing of the 3D cylinder. So we have no choice but to measure that to get our dimensions. So the height of this is 15 centimeters. The radius is five centimeters. And the circumference I have to calculate in the same way using this formula, which is two times pi times five, which is 10 pi. So it will be 31.4 centimeters. I have to draw a, a rectangle with a 31.4 centimeter long side and a 15 centimeter short side. So I'm going to do that next. Fifteen centimeter shorter side. Make sure you really draw a rectangle, which means make sure that these sides are really perpendicular to each other. You can use your set square or a protractor to help you do that if necessary. Now, <coughs> connecting to the long side of the rectangle, again, because that is the side that represents the circumference of this circle, I need to draw two circles with five centimeter radius. And I'm using the same technique to do it, because again, I don't have a compass. Not a very good circle. So this definitely would turn out better if I had a compass, but I have successfully made a net drawing of this cylinder when no dimensions were given but I was able to measure the cylinder and use the dimensions, the measurements in order to draw it. I also have the choice if I want to draw this to scale. So this would not fit on a normal sized piece of paper. If I was trying to draw this in the same question, but on a normal sized piece of paper, I would choose a scale so that all of the dimensions, for instance, are half as big as these ones that I measured. The whole drawing would be smaller and would fit on a piece of paper. This is how we draw a net drawing of a cylinder. And that is today's Daily Dose of Math. Please like, subscribe, and share.